an arcade and you can play all the arcade classics on it. Right, so people should know that safely, neatly tucked in here is your iPad. It is the iPad, so that's right. So this is just a little display case. But it that. started out as a joke. And then what oh, happened was oh. the reader reaction to it was so positive. People said, I gotta have one of these things. You, you have to make this thing, please make it. And so they got in touch with a company called Ion and Ion makes all kinds of consumer gadgets. And Ion said, sure, we'll, we'll make an iCade, absolutely. And, and so, so here it is. And so do all these little thingies work or is this just for show? This is all real. So this joystick, all of these arcade buttons, they all work and they all interact with an app that you download onto the iPad. Are you gonna play a little for us? Would you like me to? Absolutely. Okay. This All right. is taking me back. So here we go. I'm gonna actually show you with the uh, with the iPad out. Okay. Oh. And we'll start out here so people can, can mm -hmm. see. Mm -hmm. All right. And then we will now put it in. And uh, you can see right away that uh, there's uh, all these video games that are actually preloaded onto the uh, Atari app. You've got classics like Asteroids and Centipede and Millipede and uh, Red Baron, a bunch of great games from the 80s that were all only available in the arcades. There's also a bunch of games from the old Atari systems as well. So let's try Centipede because that's one of my favorites. And here we go. We'll just start playing. And I used to be a lot better at this game than I am <laughs> now. you Bit. But as you can see, you, you control it just like in the arcade. The graphics are completely authentic. This is Atari software. They were the people who created the original arcade game, and this is absolutely the same software that used to run on those big consoles in the arcades. 80s fans are going to love this. It is. It's, it's fantastic. Yeah. And okay. the sound effects are all yeah, there and everything. Yeah. You're blinding me with science. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let's talk about one of the big news stories of this week. Yeah. Google buying Motorola Mobility for $12.5 billion. What's this going to do to the tech landscape? It's a lot of money for a few cell phones, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so there's been a lot of speculation about why they did this. Uh, a lot of people are talking about the patents. So Motorola Mobility possesses thousands upon thousands of mobility and mm -hmm. software and technology-related patents. Now, Google happens to be in a bit of a patent war right now with uh, Apple and Microsoft, so a lot of people figured this was mostly about acquiring patents that they mm -hmm. could use as leverage, but I think there's a lot more to it than that. Really? There's only two other companies right now in the mobile landscape that control both hardware and software. One of them is RIM yep. with their BlackBerry, and the other, of course, is Apple mm -hmm. with the iPhone. So Google buying Motorola Mobility effectively makes them the third party to this this club of people who own both the software, which of course is Android, and the hardware, which will be Motorola phones. So are they going to be a, a serious competitor then, competitor for the other two companies? Then? Absolutely. I think that is their long-term goal, is they, they want to beat Apple and RIM at their game. All right. Uh, before we run out of time, you have to <laughs> you tell us about this new website that is supposed to add spice to your relationship, and we should say this is family friendly. Uh, yes. So this is a, uh, a site that's called uh, The Ice Break. And uh, this site, the whole idea is there's lots of sites out there that let you get into relationships, mm -hmm. uh, dating sites and so on. This is, a real, this is a site for people already in relationships. And what it does is it lets you go on and you register and you start to declare how you think you're doing in your relationship. You rate your relationship by various different criteria. How is your love life? How is your communication? How are you feeling emotionally? And then the site actually lets you see how your relationship is doing versus other people's relationships. Oh. Oh, that's never a good idea. It feels a little bit cheesy. Now, the, the, the site does say that they're, what they're really about, not so much as the rating yourself, but about giving you effective communication tools to use with your partner. And if you answer their so-called icebreakers, which are questionnaires about you, not only will your partner learn more about you, but you also get to collect these nice little valuable points, which one day, <laughs> points for your relationship, which you'll one day presumably be able to spend on merchandise or other things from the site. Well, yeah. I will withhold comment on that one. <laughs> I like this better. Sign you know what? This, this is $100 at Future Shop. I think it's going to okay. be a huge hit this holiday season. And this will bring your relationship to another level. Yeah. Or, uh, or maybe end it completely. maybe end it completely. <laughs> Simon Cohen, thank you. We'll see you next week. Thank you so much. A mysterious, perhaps even mythical creature.